Hey, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Alexa's Ultra Modded Isaac. Today, I have for you a, a fun little mod that we're going to use to spice up some of the runs in the uh, in the Alexa's Ultra Modded Isaac. Um, it's actually been in the pack this entire time. If you went and uh, downloaded the pack on uh, the Steam Workshop, you can find that link in the description down below. Um, but it requires us being in the run for me to, to show you and explain what it is. So we are going to random today because we have had some losses. You'll also see that the win streak is at negative 11 right now. Um, I'm actually going to talk about that um, around the start of this episode. But I want to um, spin our stupid wheel. I want to spin our stupid wheel and, and see uh, what we get for this. Obviously, if it is uh, a character, we're going to play that character instead. Uh, enter every cursed room you see. Okay, we can we can do that. That's not too bad, dude. That's not too bad. Let's random our character. This could be anybody. <laughs> it could be anybody, including modded characters, and it will be. Um, we're going to get a second shot at our dear friend Andromeda. Um, and this is good because I actually have things to say about Andromeda as well. Here's your seed, BFHQ2V4S. Um, if you did not see our Andromeda episode, um, I'd probably like highly implore you to go check that out. Uh, because this character is a little bit of a, an interesting experience, as you can already see. Um, we played a lot of things wrong with this character as well. Um, we were only using gravity shift inside of our item rooms. So like here, uh, thick bones to give us a minus 0.15, uh, speed and grants us two full bone hearts. And then we have a chance to ignore damage based on the amount of bone hearts. I'm going to tell you, I don't think we're going to get the bone hearts because this character can't have red HP. So I'm going to instead utilize gravity shift in this room and we're going to get sent to a planetarium. Okay. And it's, it's a little weird in here for sure. Um, but let's, let's spin, right? Already worth it. Already worth it. Um, I mean, we basically trade an item room item for a soul heart. We trade an item room item for two soul hearts. Honestly, that's not a terrible deal. <laughs> that's not a terrible deal. What do you got in here? Dead tooth. Is <laughs> not that good either. I'm gonna gravity shift again. Golden keys for the floor and money. Okay, I mean, look, these, these are not... These are not really an incredible subset of things, but neither were the items, right? So who knows? Maybe we'll end up with something a little better. But we can use um, Gravity Shift inside of other special rooms to give us other things, uh, like Devil Deals and Secret Rooms and Shops and all kinds of stuff. Um, Soul of the Forgotten, kind of interesting here as well. So we're going to mess around with it uh, and, and kind of see what else we can do today as we get this run going. But I want to talk a little bit about this new mod that I, I keep teasing. We actually have a run destination mod in the pack. What does that mean? Uh, it basically means that we have a mod that will tell us where we need to go on the run. Um, whether that be to the dark room, to the chest, um, maybe it's mother, maybe it's uh, the beast, right? Uh, so we're going to do that if I can ever get the hell out of this godforsaken room. Please, for the love of all that is holy. Freaking die. My, just just freaking get, just eat it. It's so difficult. Okay, so if you hold down left shift and then hit the debug console key... It'll open the debug console, for one, if you have it enabled, which I do. Um, but it also adds a little icon to the left side of the screen, next to the hard mode icon. Um, and right now, that icon is telling us we have to do Mother. So then that's my plan, is I'm going to do Mother today. Because I think that that's uh, kind of fun. Donation machines are now Mom's Dresser. Machines drop more coins and beggars grant coins. This is interesting. Um with the new change to donation machines, right? But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop gravity shift in here. If you don't do anything in the shop before popping it, then it becomes something else, right? So I didn't really like this shop, which is why I figured I'd do this, but this gives you a random item um, for sale for 30 cents. Obviously that was never going to happen for us because uh, we don't have the money, but it was a good thought experiment to showcase to you. Uh, how, how that works. You think it's gonna be doable? I'm gonna get one of them. Honestly, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not too bad. And then the super secret room is on the other side, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna 
do a little do a little dance, give a little love. I just realized I probably should have put the two chests together to begin with, but we're fine with this. It's okay. We're we're chilling. We'll pick up that penny. Don't you even sweat it. There is my bone heart, which immediately got converted to a black heart. That's why that first item was probably going to be pretty useless for us, right? The one that I decided to skip for a planetarium. We actually are going to be able to pick up Headless Baby if we want. <laughs> that's, that's a strange advancement on this run. Um, I did not expect to just get like a frick load of money all of a sudden. Am I gonna do it? I, I legitimately kind of think we should. Um, only because like it, it is a conjoined... I'm just going for broke at this point man what well, if there's a crawl space right i'd look like a genius um but it is a, a conjoined boyo right so in my eyes little one cent charlie right there in, in my eyes that we, we have a chance to get um conjoined this guy also just circles around us because we have a friendship bracelet to start i did kind of forget about that part um kind of funny kind of funny did we are we just stupid? No, we're not just stupid. Well, I mean, it's all relative. We are probably still stupid, but in this situation, not absurdly stupid. What the heck's going on in here, man? What a what a strange room. <laughs> there's a there's a couch in here. I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, but I do know one thing. You want to talk about money getting kind of good on this run? You give me these guys, and I'm in. This is a, a beautiful situation for me. So thanks for the monies, even if they weren't so great. It tastes like you, only sweeter. Bam, bam, bam. It's been a long time since I've heard like literally any Fallout Boy song, let alone that Fallout Boy song. Uh, okay, we can do this. That's fine. And then this room's a little weird, but we are going to probably crank this. No, you know what, dude? This is a great time to use the Soul of the Forgotten, right? So we're going to use his health to open up this jank chest that then gave me a tears up, which is incredible. Uh, and then you're going to go over here. You're going to open up this chest for me. Thank you. Great work. We get belly button for free. This was actually like kind of big brain on my part. 50% chance for lemon mishap on taking damage. I'm gonna tell you, we don't care. I like the health up. I will take the, the okay, I mean, we didn't really want to do that. Disassociative reaction? What the frick? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, we're we're vibing, we're vibing. Let's, let's get the heck out of here. Dude, Cancer Trinket is, is some good stuff right here. Can we make you walk out? No. <laughs> It's, it's a good thought, though. It's a good thought. Okay. Not too bad. I mean, I could have also popped um, Gravity Shift inside of there and, and gotten something different as well. That's the same with our secret rooms. Uh, I, did not, I did not decide to do that. Uh, but we could have. You'll also notice this is the important thing about Gravity Shift as well. So when you use it in the uh, item room, it also makes it where when you come out of the room, you can see the map. It makes it where you didn't enter it. And the idea there is that you're also preserving your planetarium chance uh, by doing this. So we have a, you know, now 21% chance on the next floor to get a planetarium and so on and so forth. Um, so it, it helps to guarantee, well, we also do start with the, uh, the telescope lens smelted, right? Uh, so that also is giving us another 15% chance. So we have like a 40% chance of a planetarium already on the next floor. Um, so it, it comes back to kind of, there's a lot of delicate balance with this character that I, I actually really, really enjoy. Um, and I think that it's a, a very unique little character. Let's get the heck out of here. I've spent seven minutes on the first floor um, and we need to go. I got people to see, places to go, things to do. I got all the all the things and stuff. Get over there. You, you need to get some bombs in your freaking face my little stupid okay he's he's a little it's easier said than done cancer trinket helps for a dps but there's there's no denying that we also um we also could could uh use a little bit more damage on this run and then of course you know some kind of 
wacky synergy as time goes on as well. I also am noticing that we, we have belly button, right? And I just left that one trinket in the other room. Uh, oops, you'll survive. We don't really need it, if I'm being honest with you. So it'll, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Have some bombs, sir. You're like the ideal person to just get fricked up by bombs. Bless your soul, I'm Audi. I do think you probably still... Can I gravity shift this, by the way? No. Um, I do think you still go angel deals with this character, though. Just because, like... Seems a little dumb. Torn pocket. Upon hit, Isaac drops two of his coins, keys, or bombs. The pickups can be replaced with other variants. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. Um, wow, and then it dropped a golden version of it. That's a little weird. Uh, but I'm, I'm chill with that. That's a good trade. Uh, and then we have this. The Valentine's card. How topical. Um, can be thrown similar to Chaos card. Permanently charms all enemies it passes through and drops a full red heart on use. Very weird. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's talk about why this, um, my save file is at a negative 11 for our win streak. I know we've been struggling, right? There's no denying that. But why are we at a negative 11 on the win streak? Um... I've been having a, a weird week <laughs> in terms of making content. Um, I th there there's really no denying that if you look at the views on the channel right now, they're they're not as high as they have been in the past. Um, and I I'm working really hard to make this Isaac series especially um, like very good. <laughs> like I, I really want it to just be close to perfect. Um, so I have had a couple of runs that I've done here recently, um, that you haven't seen. And I just, I, I got partway through recording them, and I just went, you know what, it's, it's kind of trash. And I don't really want to upload this because I think it's kind of bad. Um, and it's, I, I think it was more to do with just my mood in the past week. Um, it's been... There's been some rough stuff going on with, like, work for me in, in real life, and then... It's just been, uh, uh, my, my head hasn't been in the right brain space recently. Dude, that did drop one of my coins and it turned into a nickel. That's kind of sick, actually. That's really sick. Dad's key's not a horrible pickup for us. I'm gonna take whatever this is, though. Foul guts. I don't know what this is. So let's, let's take a peek. What are you? Foul guts is right here. Plus one heart container, plus two bone hearts. Replace all red hearts and fill all empty containers with rotten hearts. This is just bad. Uh, it, I mean, it's actually just, like, completely worthless for our run, unfortunately. Um, we cannot have bone hearts. They keep on wanting to give us bone heart-related stuff, man. I can't... I can't take any of your bone hearts. It is, it is illegal for me to take bone hearts. I am a soul heart kind of guy on this run, unfortunately. Would love to mess around and vibe with them soul hearts but it just it just ain't possible it just ain't possible now can i gravity shift in here i can and we get a little wisp okay i don't necessarily know what that means i also don't know if it's permanent i would assume it's not right what the heck is a brimstone wisp okay well now we're talking a little bit and it can disappear okay so that's also <laughs> That's also important to probably note here. Very interesting things to note. But anyway, yeah, so there has been some episodes that I've scrapped. Um, I don't intend on doing this a lot anymore. Like I said, I think I was just not in the right brain space here recently. Uh, we smelted the the teardrop boil. That's okay. Um, Seraphim's not horrible. Someone's a friendly copy of every enemy in the room making them fight each other. And the item's called Battle Royale. That's actually hilarious, but I do think that having flight is a wee bit more valuable for me at the current moment in time. So I will take that instead. Secret room is probably right here. If it's not, we cry a little. It is beautiful. Girls all over the world. I might be chasing, but my time would be wasted. Trying to figure out if we should gravity shift. And I think my solution will be... No, I, w I do not want to gravity shift. I think that just having some money is more valuable as we move towards our shop um, at some point in time on this floor. Uh, but yeah, so 
just like don't mind the the win streak number um and i will tell you it, it was not just me losing runs sometimes i just like my brain is like the commentary wasn't good in this one and then i just like walk onto spikes to kill myself <laughs> so it's it's a uh, the human brain sucks, man. The human brain sucks. Sometimes you, especially as a creator, when you're going through a little bit of a weird, weird uh, time on your channel. And it's like, the main reason why my channel is in a weird spot is because the algorithm is actually just hating me. Um, and I know that a lot of creators say that kind of stuff. Um, and you go, no, Tyler, I can tell you why the algorithm doesn't like you. is because for a month you didn't upload Isaac. Um, it's not the algorithm, it's the fact that, like, you know, I'm sitting here and the only thing that I watch from you is Isaac. I'm gonna bite the bullet, dude. What do you got? Little gish? <laughs> For 30 cents? <laughs> For 30 cents, that's a horrible deal. Um, I can't deny. But, whatever. Uh, we, we roll with it, dude. We roll with it, see what happens. Um, and, and to an extent, you're right, okay? So, Isaac does extremely help, uh, in terms of getting views on the channel but the issue is that my views actually are not that bad it's impressions um if you don't know how youtube works basically there's a thing called impressions uh and impressions are when your video gets recommended to people whether that be from the search features so you know you search the binding of isaac um and then you see like six huts videos six Invicta videos and then like all the way down there you see little old me right um those are impressions that I get. It also can be like on the sidebar. When you finish a, a Hutzer's Invicta video, you may see my cute little face over on the sidebar. Well, what happens is when YouTube, when you're not pulling a ton of views on your videos, then YouTube cranks down your impressions. Um, why does that make any sense whatsoever? Because they think that you're now irrelevant. Uh, if people are not watching, you know, like 10,000 views worth of your content. So when I upload Isaac on this channel and I pull good views, it in turn affects my impressions. And then all the views on my other episodes of, of other random things go up. Um, and then as a result, the channel does really well. The problem is I took a month off of playing Isaac, right? So YouTube went, you're not getting 10 to 15,000 views on, on every other video you upload now. So your impressions, you, your channel must be dead, and your impressions now have to go very down. Um, and the problem is that even though we're now uploading Isaac again, YouTube doesn't know that I am. <laughs> their, their algorithm is still going, nope, crank this guy's impressions down. Um, so I'm really happy with kind of view rate and, and comments and, and the community and all of that for the channel. Um, it's doing really, really well. It's just we're not actually getting recommended anywhere. Um, and that's it's the nature of being a YouTuber in a lot of ways. Um, I'm used to this kind of stuff. Uh, this has happened a thousand, thousand times. Um, but sometimes when, when you're also in a weird kind of mental spat at the time, uh, pairing it with this and, and the algorithm kind of, kind of screwing with you and, and doing some weird things... It can just make you, can make you lose your mind a little bit, um, and that's that's kind of where I am. Is I'm in a, a losing my mind state. Let's go down to the mines. Uh, we are gunning for mother on this run. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, dude, we get our. Wait, what the hell is that? What, what is this little stone that I have? Are you seeing this little stone? I am very intrigued by this little stone. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna just appreciate the little stone for the time being. And we'll see if he has anything that he'll do in the future. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, give, give Frick, please. I don't got the patience for that room. What the heck's going on here? All new treasure rooms will have an angel item for sale instead of a normal item. All new treasure rooms. <laughs> We'll have an angel item for sale instead of a normal item. I mean, dude, I'm going to tell you, that, that seems kind of fascinating to me, right? Like, that seems kind of good. Let, let's, let's do it, right? I mean, this is a run where I have a lot of money at the current moment in time. Now, we're not going to have... I mean, this is a good time for me to just, like, get hit a bunch. I'm, I'm not meaning to actually get hit as much as what I just did. That was kind of unfortunate, but I did end up 
um, getting a bunch of money off of that. I'm gonna take this. I'm also gonna take the High Priestess because I don't really think that that Valentine's Day card is that valuable in the absolute slightest, but that's okay. Wow, this was horrifying. My frame rate, where did it go for a hot second? Hard to tell, crank it. Good item, or trinket, but kind of don't care. I'm gonna tell you, kind of don't care. Take this back as well. And really, that's all you gave me, huh? That's a little lame. That's a little lame. Uh, but anyway, so that that's that's kind of what happened with that. Um, and now the brain is doing a little bit better. Um, and I, I mean, I'm not gonna scrap this episode. Probably, you know, because you're watching it right now. So it's a good good telltale sign that I didn't scrap it. But I will. I promise you, I will not scrap any more going forward. Weird. Um, really weird. Do you go Libra on a run like this? I'm gonna tell you, I think the answer is no. Um, is Neptunus that good, though? What happens if I gravity shift in a planetarium, man? Oh, God. <laughs> well, this is not what I expected to see. Um, so you can do it. That's, that's a fun thing. Do I get all of these, man? Is that how this works? Look, I like pointy rib. I, I really do. Um, oh, dude, you know what? I got two random... Wait. No, you know what? I got... Did I get the two... No, because that's Mars. Yeah. So we got two random planetarium items as wisps when we did this. Okay, and then that's a choice. Fair enough. I mean, I probably would have still taken... Uh, what I did there. That's interesting, man. So you get a choice of four different regular item room items um, when you do it like that, which is, I mean, that's that's actually not a horrible deal. I, I think the Libra had potential to be interesting here, um, but I also know a lot of people uh, really strongly dislike Libra, so I am not, not really going to get too bent out of shape over... Uh, doing what I did. Good to experiment as well to see what gravity shift does in a planetarium. So this is the real question of the hour is yeah, okay. So it does give a angel item for sale. Revelation's pretty good. It's also like pretty good because we can just spam our stuff here. I, I think you should take Revelation. I, I'm just being, you know, completely sincere with you. I think that that is a good enough item. <laughs> to take on a run. I'm sitting here like, well, I could buy the random, and it could be anything. You know, it could be Sacred Heart. Uh, it, like, the revelation is really solid, and there's a fun synergy with it, so how how can we be upset? Look at that, dude. That's spicy. I'm, I'm with it, for sure. Uh, okay, Reap Creep. Goodbye. It's time for you to go, my dude. The the revelation do be, do be popping a little as well. The tears do be popping. The the revelation do be popping. Good times are coming for this run, man. I we got an Andromeda Mother Win in our horizons. Full heart container, speed up, damage up. All positive things. We had a pretty low low speed coming into this uh, hot race here. Now this could be an interesting shop, and the answer is yes. I will do this. Do we care about Toxic Shock? Honestly, sure. I don't mind it. it it's not the most exciting uh, item in the game, but I actually think Toxic Shock is is relatively underrated. I, I think it's an okay uh, thing to have. Let's go down. Let's also do the question of the day today, um, which I like definitely don't have prepared in the slightest. <laughs> so, oops, a daisy. I'm pulling it up right now. I'm pulling it up right now. The question of the day comes from Platt. And Platt says, you can choose any superpower that you wish. There's an asterisk, by the way. Uh, but you must sacrifice your understanding of object permanence. What is your superpower? And the, the asterisk is, it cannot directly cancel out your lack of object permanence. But it can still interact with it in interesting ways. First of all, I have no freaking clue what the hell you're talking about. Um, object permanence? 
So, like, you have no idea that something can be permanent? This is... I, I actually... Maybe this is a meme, and I don't know what's going on, but I have no freaking clue what you're actually asking to me. Um, I feel like I need to, like, read this again in a second and, and see if maybe... Maybe it, it makes my brain not hurt when I read it. Hold on. Soul heart. Thank you. You can choose any superpower that you wish. That part I have understood. Superpowers. I can become uh, someone who can see into the future. I can become someone who can uh, turn water into ice by looking at it. But you must sacrifice your understanding of object permanence. I feel like I need to get, like, a Google definition of object permanence and, and see what comes up. And I could also tell that that was a, uh, a, a tinted rock. I'm gonna Google object permanence, man. This is a... Object permanence. Object permanence involves understanding that items and people still exist even when you can't see or hear them. Concept was discovered by child psychologist Jean Puget and is an important milestone in a baby's brain development. Okay, what are some examples? For example, if you place a toy under a blanket, the child who has achieved object permanence knows it is there and can actively see it. At the beginning of this stage, the child behaves as if the toy had simply disappeared. Okay. We can unpack this a little bit then. So I sacrifice my understanding of object permanence. What is my superpower? I'm gonna tell you Unfortunately, my answer for what what your superpower would be doesn't actually change with the object permanence conversation or not. Um, I, I have a pretty standard answer for this over time. I'm also thinking that maybe we're going to be able to pop gravity shift in here. Can we? We cannot. Okay. Oh, probably if I didn't pick up any of the uh, the coins, then I might have been able to. But whatever, it's fine. Um, we also still have to do our uh, still gotta do our our mine chase, man. Is our is our is it our first Alexa mine chase of of uh, the ultra modded Isaac? We have a mod that that changes the mine chase, so I'm I'm excited for this. There's our angel deal. That's exciting. Um, magic scab is fine. Angel deal is charity. Unjam the donation machine every floor. Using it increases the angel chance. Taking damage makes you drop coins. Enemies can pick up coins and become charmed. Uh, get gravity shifted, and I have um, two weird angel wisps. Okay. And it looks like they're firing sacred heart tears, which, I mean, like, sure, that's fine. Or godhead tears. I don't know, some kind of tear. I don't think that whatever that item was, was was that valuable. Anyway, um, so superpower, uh, giving up my knowledge of object permanence, I'm going to choose the ability to slow down time. And I think that this actually makes a lot of sense when you look at it um, from an object permanence perspective as well. Because if I lose the ability to know kind of about something, Right? You know, in the end, it, it's it's very just... I'll take this. Delirious. I don't want that. <laughs> go back. Go back. I don't want it. I think Delirious is a very boring and dumb item, but that's just me. Um, if you, if you lose the knowledge of an object's permanence, then I think the idea here in slowing down time is that you now have... I mean, this is going to sound really stupid when I say it, right? But you now have more time to understand where that object goes right you know it's, it's as a as a baby which I'm, I'm assuming that this object permanence um psychological debate is is largely due to the understanding of how a child comprehends and their brain grows um and object permanence is not necessarily something that someone with a fully developed brain would, would lose this cognitive ability um I feel like it's like more useful if my brain is functioned enough where I can 
take the time to think about where that object may have gone, then I'm in good shape here, right? And then there's not really a problem. You know, I think I think the the real the real issue here is you're trying to come up with something that is counteracting. You know, obviously the superpower is not I have object permanence. The 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 shtick here is that you're you're giving up it for something. You know, and is there something that you care about more than being able to know that there's a toy under the blanket kind of thing? Um, so I, I think that my answer still stands here. I, I've always used this answer for um, what superpower would you like to have, and it's literally just because in, in my life, uh, the only thing that I want more of is time. <laughs> so if there was some way for me to slow down time to have an infinite amount of it, um, it's a dangerous slippery slope, right? It's a really dangerous slippery slope because there's always the idea... You know, I sit there and I'm like, well, if I had more time, I could actually prepare YouTube content at a timely rate, right? Instead of, you know, stressing to get videos done and things like that. But then there comes the problem of like, you know, what, what happens if you decide, well, I'm just going to make videos for the year. And then you decide, oh, dude, look, the mausoleum looks freaking sick. Holy crap. That looked incredible in their room. Um... You know, pretty soon, you know, if, if you have the ability to uh, slow down time, what if you're never living in the present, right? And, and what if you're always living in, in a slowed down time when you can't necessarily age? I mean, I don't know how that would work, right? Would you be able to age inside of, uh, inside of this situation? If you slow down time, does, does time trickle to a halt does it does it kind of move like slower than usual but it it still moves i i don't know how slow down time i suppose i could just reword this right to just be stop time but i would be interested to know what you guys would do with that because i guess stopping time oh the problem with stopping time as well you, you run into now a scenario where if you're stopping time can other things function besides me so, like, a video game, right? Obviously, Isaac probably would work because the frame rate of my game right now is low enough that slowing down time, it probably would make it just run better. Um, but that's a joke at the fact that this run is really laggy for some reason. I don't know why this run is so laggy. Seems Andromeda's many tiers are creating a little bit uh, of a small dilemma for me. Take it, take it, take it. This dude's been smoking some, some good stuff. Get him out of here? Okay. And we'll continue on our our sweet mission through life. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a difficult uh, question to kind of answer in the sense of whether or not you would want... You know, superpowers are one of those things where, as a kid, it all seems like fun and games, right? Um, it's like, oh, it'd be sick to be able to fly, right? Um, and then you realize as you get older that the reality of the situation is is that uh, if you were able to fly and then the government found out that you were able to fly, one, you're either probably getting shot or you're getting, like, hired on to be a military assassin, right? Um, and this is not me, like, you know, going full Marvel on you and, you know, my life is a, a Marvel movie. But the fact of the matter is, if you became the only human being on planet Earth to be able to fly, you're gonna raise some interest to people. It's not just gonna be like, oh, you know, it's easier for me to get to Florida for vacation. Like, it's gonna be your life completely changes uh, by having that. So then it has to be something that only you know about. So something like stopping time, right? But then there there becomes kind of the the philosophical and also moral debate of when do you stop oh that's pretty good we'll, we'll just take sacred heart on this run um and i i think that that that's it, it's it's a question that as you get older you realize is like way more fricked <laughs> than what you think you know because like a little kid may go i want the ability to read people's minds I'm gonna tell you right now, there is nothing that I want less on this earth than the ability to read people's minds. Like, you really want to be able to read all or hear all of the, like, nasty things people think about you inside of your brain? Absolutely not. That sounds, you know, freaking miserable. 
We could get Polydactyl. I don't think Polydactyl is very good in this scenario. Uh, dude, that's me. I mean, that's just me. On room clear, heal a random wisp to full health. If all your wisps have full health and you have fewer than four, spawn a wisp. That's me, though? Like, I'm like 90% sure that's me. Um, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you to the mod dev that made a little baby that looks um, exactly like me. I don't know if it's intentional, but I mean, thank you anyway, because uh, I like it. it. It looks cool. Congratulations. So yeah, probably, probably still stopping time because I don't know, like, even if I'm miserable in the process of it, um, you know, it, I'm miserable now. So <laughs> what's the difference, right? What's the difference? I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. I also feel like, you know, the ability to go invisible is, is a fun one. It's a fun one, but it's another one that like, I'm going to tell you probably ends in you getting shot. Because, like, I could absolutely, you know, I was just at the grocery store tonight, and it's like, man, it would be sick if I could just be invisible and get the hell out of all these people's ways and not have to, like, worry about anybody, and, like, I just came from work, I kind of look like a wreck. Like, it'd be sick to just be invisible. But then you accidentally bump into somebody, and they start freaking out that there's a ghost, man. All of a sudden, you better book it out of that grocery store, or you are going to have an extremely rough time in the future. Um, because once again, as soon as the government finds out that you can become invisible, um, you're in bad shape. Because pretty soon you're doing covert missions to Russia. I'm just, I'm just speaking how it is. And if you're Russian, okay, we're doing covert missions to the U.S. It's all the same. Like, your, your ability will be politicized in some way, um, using the military of that country. And the last thing that I want to do is be a part of the military of some country. I'm good. I got enough to do. <laughs> I don't I don't need to take over Malta anytime soon. Okay. So good question, uh, by the way. Thank you, Platt, for your question. Um the object permanence part, I still I, I will be interested. You guys all get very philosophical in, in your uh, comments, especially for the questions of the day. It's always, it's always a good freaking time when I, the question is like, what's your favorite sandwich? And you guys pull out, you know, like, well, I um, had a sandwich made of boar meat in the middle of the, you know, rainforests of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And it had, you know, homemade... Um, goat butter spread on it and then it was soaked in i'm like okay you don't need the flex <laughs> we all know that you're in your uh college apartment bacon grilled cheese on the griddle with the you know four dollar american cheese uh package craft singles from uh you know i was gonna say walgreens but that's a little bit of a strange place to get your uh your american cheese from i bet you can probably buy american cheese from walgreens the more accurate choices, you're probably getting it from Wegmans, but um, it is what it is. But let me know your guys' opinion on superpowers with your object permanence situation. Definitely a thought-provoking one um, that I did not expect today. There, there's all kinds of weird questions that we get. Um, what the heck? <laughs> does this work? This does work. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going to be out of angel rooms on this floor, right? Uh, this is our last item room. So it, this is good. We'll take two cancer trinkets. There's no denying it's it's definitely a little bit strange to rock two cancer trinkets, but I mean, why wouldn't I? It's just, uh, okay, come on, man. It's just a beautiful uh, tears up. What do you got? Number one, wow. That's a lot to unpack. Uh, we could theoretically get to Cricket's head, which which could also be interesting. Um, we would just need to find one more spin down die shard. Um, that is unlikely. That's unlikely is a, a good way to word it. But it ain't impossible, I'm going to tell you. I will buy, well, actually, hold up. We can spin down Monstrance to Immaculate Heart. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, actually. Um, and then I'll come in here. 
I'll bomb the donation machine just for kicks and giggles. This is not going to give me enough money to gravity shift and get something out of it. So let, let's leave. I'm going to collect a little bit more money. I want to get up to 30 cents and then we'll go for the gravity shift in there. Um, and then now I can feel good about also grabbing... Where's the bomb, dude? I just bombed myself. Uh, feel good about grabbing a... Oh, come on, man. I want a crack key. You little dummy. That's fine. Um, So now we take number one, which range, like, who cares, right? Rate of fire is now my, my child. Um... Rate of fire is now my child, and it's like kind of kind of dummy cracked right now. Kind of dummy cracked. We're gonna we're gonna try our damnedest to get a secret room. Thank you. We're gonna bomb this thing to get some money. Okay, okay. I didn't give me anything. Where the heck am I gonna get more money on this run, man? I suppose we could look in a potential super secret room, which could be, well, it can't be there. It's, it's gotta be off of this room here before the boss fight. So send me here, send me here. Really? I'm surprised, I am surprised. If I were the super secret room, I, I mean, I suppose it's probably down by the shop at this point, but it could be it honestly is probably right next to the shop. It could be right here. We got 14 bombs, so I'm not really afraid to uh, do a little spending right now and try to find this sucker. How about here? Here? Okay. Don't really care about the reflected bomb. More bombs does not improve this run in any way. Not going to be there. There is a chance it was here all along, and I'm going to say it's actually a high chance. Fantastic. Okay. Useless, though. So, we could gravity shift, but we're not going to get anything. This guy could drop a nickel, I guess. Oh, come on, man. We're, we're at freaking 28 cents. There has to be some way. Can you not bomb the angels in here? What? That's so weird. Um, There's got to be some way to get just two cents. It's two cents, man. You're telling me that there is not a way to get two cents in this damn run? Red red fires? You you got you got a, a penny hiding inside of you? A red heart? That ain't that ain't what we want. I'm pretty sure it's always a 30 cent item um when you do it. So I we're just straight out of luck is is the best way to word this. Um it was probably gonna be a trash item anyway. They they haven't exactly been top tier so far so get me out of here um we're ridiculously strong i would like to you know quickly note that it, it's gonna be complete destruction inside of these rooms uh so let's let's not get too afraid of where this run is going it's looking pretty good um this is where it is just if we're trying to win i'm gonna tell you the polaroid is just better it's just better um, we have damage. Damage is not the problem. As much as I love more damage, um, you know me, right? I'm, I'm always gonna do the opportunity where I get more damage out of it. Um, the Polaroid for invincibility's sake. Uh, come on. You're, you're a character with, with soul hearts, man. You gotta, you gotta have an ounce of intelligence. So, we go down. So, I go down. Um, and then we get ourselves into corpse which is is looking about the same as before um maybe spiced up a little bit um with the old modding scene who knows maybe we'll see some new enemies down here that's a mimic door and here i was thinking we weren't gonna see a mimic door today come on dude thank you might as well go in and see what's crack a lacking justice two justices oh you love to see this dude so there's those there's those. I'll also bomb these for the potential soul heart. Okay. Uh, send them. And then we just let all of that go in, and then we see what the heck happens. And I'm, I'm down. You gave me contagion. Which is fine. I, I don't really have any issues with contagion. Con contagion. We got contagion and toxic shock. It's a toxic kind of run. This is also like if you look at our items, this is a very, very vanilla run. 
at, at its core, man. Vanilla run with a modded character. We, we don't really even have that many items. You know, I think that that's kind of what, what sometimes happens with Andromeda, because I, I skipped essentially, like, I don't know, three or four item rooms on this run. So we lost out on uh, having a couple of uh, extra items on this one. Obviously, like, it, it ended up working out for us, because the run is very, very good. Um, how about a little world card? Weird floor design, man. But we are going to take a look at the boss trap room. See if there's perhaps something a little spicy spicy inside of there. Thanks for the bone heart. It's just a, a happy... Uh, bone hearts are just a... Come on. Uh, you actually can't go up there. I'm dumb. Bone, bone hearts are just a happy uh, soul heart for us. So we, we got no... No real issues with that whatsoever. Dude, I love uh, Revelation being able to home as well. Um, just adds to the stupidity of this run. You know, it's already extremely, extremely good. But when you could do stuff like that, it's uh, significantly better. I'll tell you that. Third golden bomb of the run. I do think I've been in every curse room that we've seen. Um, so I, I think we're good on the challenge. You'll tell me if I missed one. Um, like I've said many times, I don't really actually pay attention to the challenge at all. Um, it's kind of just there as a, a fun secondary thing to do. I'll take Guppy's Collar. We're not gonna die to, to Mother, though. I mean, this run is really, really good. We're also gonna get some unlocks out of this. Keep in mind that Andromeda does have, um, a full set of unlocks. Meaning that completing all of the things with him, uh, or them... She? I don't, I don't actually know the gender of Andromeda, I'm gonna tell you. Um, but we we will get something out of this. Some some new item. Some new item to go into the uh, 400 and, you know, 20 that we already have. Uh, what's one more, right? Secret room? Whatever. I don't really care. I, I think it's time to just go. Let's get out. Oh, what the heck? We still have another floor. <laughs> I, I might be dumb. I might be dumb. I really genuinely thought that we were already, uh, already on, on the mother fight. Great shot, man. You got me. This is a weird spot for this son of a gun to be, though. Alright. Kill the nutsack, and, uh, let's get the heck out of here. We are down to five hearts, which, I mean, it could be better, right? It could be a little bit better. We will get a heart here. I mean, there's no reason not to take that. And then in here, our gravity shift doesn't do anything. Fun fact. <laughs> and then let's get the heck out of here. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Corpse 2. Electric Boogaloo. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I'm, I'm in, uh, if we can find a little bit of extra HP good stuff but otherwise we we wouldn't mind just finding the boss like damn near immediately and getting the heck out of here like it would be nice to just escape a little unscathed on this one okay dude i will say the most annoying thing with this character is the fact that bombs go away from your tears i would love if somehow your tears were uh bomb immune it would be such a nice, nice thing. Devil beggar? It is a devil beggar. Oh, that's a good way for me to lose all of my health. Um, the fact that we have the Polaroid, I'm like, we, we could play him. Um, but it's like an absolutely miserable idea. It's a good way to just throw at the end of this run. You know, we, we do like to do some nice classic throws from time to time on this channel. We could go for a throw here in the attempt to get ourselves an extra, you know, little bit of damage or, or something on this run. It could also just end up being ceremonial robes and we uh, get a, a payout that is more valuable. I don't know. Could be, could be, possibly, should be, maybe. It would be dumb to try, but I'm, I'm probably going to do it. <laughs> I'm probably going to do it. Azazel Stump. I do not care about Azazel Stump. Okay, there's the boss. We got five hearts. Do I think that I can beat 
mother, the witness, however you want to word it, with this number of hearts? The answer is yes, I do. Um, but I I don't love it. Are you gonna you're gonna give me a chaos card? Okay. Um, what a fun secret room. There you go, sir. It's not often you get a, a Gideon crawl space, um, but here we are. That's a fun little, uh, fun little thing. <laughs> it's a fun little thing. Oh, you're going to give me extra HP, huh? And then you're going to give me a little lead pen. You're going to give me both. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Well, now since the run has gotten significantly better as a result of this... Yeah, and then we also get the lead pencil popping like really fast, man. I'll be I'll be an idiot for at least a heart. Right? I'll be an idiot for at least a heart. Let's let's play the demon beggar. Cuz keep in mind we're going to get invincibility out of it. So we can get a full play into this guy. Give me mom's coin purse. Is not amazing. I don't know why I'm going so big on shot speed, man. Drop all your soul hearts on the floor. Seems like a horrible idea. Um, and addicted, you give perks on each pill use. So that's that's actually fine. Um, we'll pop this as perks. We'll pop this as a health up, and we're getting HP out of this. So this this actually, I mean, dude, we we made health on this one. So that's that's actually completely fine. Let let's get out of here and and finish the run. I think that we are in very, very good shape, and it's going to not even be close in a lot of ways. Um, it has been a little bit since I've done the mother fight. A couple, about a month or so since I've done the mother fight. Uh, about two months since I've done the mother fight, but it's pretty embedded in my brain. We'll, we'll, we'll throw a little little horn into the action. He ain't doing jack diddly squat for me. Um, but he is cute, so it makes up for it. Alright, good stuff. Do the nuclear throne attack. Very good. And let's get this show on the road. Do not. Do not. I refuse. I refuse. Ah, you know what? You got me. And it, it was my fault, too. It was my fault, too. Okay. As I said earlier, there, there is a little bit of lag on this run, um, and you're seeing it firsthand in this fight. Mother does tend to do a lot of attacks, and thus makes the the lag a wee bit, wee bit spicier to deal with. But we're chilling, dude. We're chilling. Good run. Good run. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're healthy. We're we're living. We're living the good life. Come on, just just like. You're gonna suck all my shots into you anyway? Okay. I'm not worried about your uh, little happy fun time you did. We did lose like four hearts in this fight, so five hearts would have been a little spicy, but we unlocked Juno. We unlocked Juno. That's a, a movie with, is it Will Ferrell in it? I don't remember, dude. That's gonna do it though for this episode of Alexa's Ultra Modded Isaac. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, liking the video, much appreciate. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.